hey everybody, I'm in this place called Sanzong and I am just here for fun to see what's going on and I have a very newish look because I don't have money. Well, I have money, but I don't, I've never been in here and my profiles is early release because I haven't been in here. This is where I look. So to, if you would go anywhere, click here. The first one is go. To just look here. You can also go to search right up here. If you hit shift, you walk. And if you want to recenter your mouse, let's say you want to walk over there, so you just hit shift and then hit the forward button. And see how I walk? It's much better. <laughs> Although I don't like the female avatars on here because they don't look very feminine, in my opinion. They don't look feminine at all because there's no room for a pelvis for a real woman. Where's the pelvis at once? This is my face. I have to work on it some more. <laughs> the people that are here, they seem pretty friendly. Um, they seem to want to talk to people. I've met the people that are new here. Let me show you that. I, I haven't done anything with it. Backpack. That's my inventory. Oh, here's home. So you go, to, you click on go, then you go home. So let's go ahead and talk about how to play this game. You can find free items if you write free. Let's go ahead and just left click there and then you can uh, sit down. Okay, so let's go ahead and click the mic. I can't talk here, I guess. So anyway, that's how you turn your mic. I don't know if it actually makes your mouth move or not, but that's how you do it. And to move, you just hit one of the buttons to walk. So this is what my home looks like. I don't know if this is what everybody gets. I assume this is what everybody gets. But I mean, hey, at least you get a home, right? I mean, I haven't paid anything into this game. And I have a home. So you can go right here and go to the Nexus. You can meet a lot of people that are new there, it seems like, which is nice. Uh, also, instead of, you can teleport somebody to you, but you can also leave them a what looks like a portal like that. And then I think it disappears after some time and that will work just fine. You also have something called my profile under social. You have a chat and people and you have my profile. And then on my profile, I just wrote things like, hi, I'm a Christian if you want to talk to me. Just like say hi or whatever. So you have all this stuff that's over here. Oops. And some of it's kind of freaky. So I took that away. So if there's something you don't like, you can just take it away and I got rid of that I'm gonna have to I I honestly don't know if there's other ways to look oh no I got it in my hands oops can I delete it oh I threw it on the floor okay so I think you hit the left mouse key to throw it which is fine. Um, let's see if I. Okay, I threw it. Look, at... <laughs> that's okay. I'll just leave it in there, I guess. So I figure out how to delete it. Um, and then in here is my nothing room, my entryway. But it's nice that everybody has a place to go. So I'm gonna go to the Nexus. Also, let me show you some other things. You can change your appearance. Let's see, so let's say that you want to go shopping. So, let's say that you'd like to buy some hair, right? Maybe you're new like me, and you don't want to spend any money, because you don't know if you're even going to spend any time in this game. So what you want to do is hit female, should be sex type anyway. Then you hit asset type, then you want to pick what one you want to so like rigged mesh would probably be the best one for hair for example but we'll just see what we can get for free so write f-r-e-e -E, and it will automatically find the things that are free so just go down here a few lines and there are some things you can get for free 
The only thing is that you have to be careful. Like this hair here, it's a demo. So make sure you check. And there's also this dress. I got that dress. You have to be careful what you accept. It looks like it's hair, but it says it's a Ouija board. Don't get that. So like for guys, there's some shirts here. Now here's a hair, right? You see how it says buy? It's 699. So you don't want to buy that unless you have money. You want to make sure that it says free. See how it says free right here? This is definitely not as nice as Second Life in my opinion because you can't really shape yourself. You can shape your head to some degree, not much. When I was doing it, I couldn't really tell the difference. Then whenever I saved my character, it didn't even look like that when I was doing that. I didn't care. I just needed something. Okay, this would be the create button. Now, you also have other things like emote, which would be like this, for example, raise the roof. You can hit four or press that. And when you're done, you can just press it again or press four and you're done. Now you can buy more of these or maybe find some free ones. I wouldn't get invested in this world unless you really feel like you've made a lot of connections and you like it. Because some people might be on Second Life and this world. Or they might be on Second Life and other worlds that you like better. So I like the way that you can look in Second Life because you can use Alt and control and you can look over here like like this and look at stuff but this only allows you to like grab stuff and get a very limited view of it I don't really like that I don't like that so let's go ahead and look at the create button so you click on create right away you see style my avatar host an event build worlds Create quests, learn to build and edit this scene. This particular area is not mine. It's connected to my home, but it's not mine. It's for me to connect to the Nexus. So let's go ahead and see what it says here. Let's go back over here and look. Once you hit this button. Oh, okay, I just realized that. Oh, I just went into the Nexus. This tells you who's here, so you can click on them, for example, and check out their profile. Or you can just exit out of it and then go through here if you want. I have the music turned off. I just realized if you want to walk, you can run, or if you hit shift, you'll walk. You don't have to hold shift. I mean, no. Let's say hi to this guy. Hi. So you know you're talking if you see there's parentheses come up. Now he's typing. He's typing stuff. And you can tell he's having fun. <laughs> She's having fun. Hello. See, he's waving at me. It's one of the emotes. I hope you have one who's seeing me. So I turn the music off. I'll be back. I'm just gonna explore. Okay, I don't wanna walk away and just be like, hi, how are you? And then walk off. I think that's kind of really weird. So, okay, so we're walking up here, right? So, so if you, you wanna take a picture, for example, this is the other thing you can do. This button, take a photo. So here you have a photo. You can save it to a file, share, or close. Create. And let's go to style my avatar. Once you come in here, I, I think you could probably have like four of these or five. So I could go in here and click this button and make a whole new look. See, so I can select, I can customize, I can add a new one. I think the light is kind of cute though. <laughs> Stuck on the shirt. I saw two guys with that. I mean, one thing about this world is things res like that. It's quick, it's fast, ta da. Now, what you can do is you can customize. You can scale him. 
Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm making it really short or really tall. Like that. Then you can also choose some hairs that you can start with. I don't know. Let's say we give him this hair. So you can go close up. It's in this purplish color. This is where you check out the skin. Okay, let's say that you want to give him this darker skin. So click on the skin and then all of a sudden, well, just you'll just get this thing that does that. Um, so you'll have a darker skin and you can wear that. Uh, you can wear the hair that's purple, or you can wear black, you can wear brown, you can wear any color you want. You can also pick a color from the color wheel. Yeah, see? Like, I could make it green, or I could make it red to go with his light. Let's do that. He could have, like, red hair. But then if you wanted him to have a different hair, that hair, he could have this hair, and he could have this hair this hair. We can also try the light skin to be like a punk dude. You can also change his face too. So if you want him to have a different face, like this guy or this guy or this guy. You can change his eyes, although I have a hard time telling that his features are changing. But let's go ahead and... Okay, that, I could see that a little bit. So then let's say that I want to uh, check out his clothes. Let's take off this stuff. Why isn't this? You have reached the five. Okay. Let's take this off, this off, this off. So now he has this, right? You could save him like this. I can change his clothes to something different, right? I don't know. Well, this, I don't know if this is meant to be here, or if it just got stuck from when I done. Okay, so let's say that he's all done in here. Oh, and let's fix his hair. Let's make his hair black, okay? Dude. So, he has this nice hair. There's also this other hair. Is it this one? Yeah, there's this one. That one's really cool, too. I like that one. But I think... I like this one the best. It's like a crown on his head. So then let's say you want to save him. And don't worry about import. Just go ahead, click on save. And then I've saved another character. Then once you've done that. Okay, okay, wait. Let's go back. That's the back button. Now I have my look one and my look two. Now you can go right here. And you can completely delete this. You can say, I don't want it. And then it's gone. And now you're back with what you had. And let's say that I want to change her, right? So, click customize. Let's go to the hair section. I mean, I really like this hair. Look how cute this hair is. Look how cute. You could just grab a hair, pick whatever hair you want. If I wanted to change my skin, for example, so I could do this skin and these eyes, but I want to keep my shape. There's that hair that's like my hair or whatever, as plasticky, but I think they all kind of have that look. But that one's cute. That one's really cute. Look how cute. Oh, it has like that V back. Okay, and then let's try this one. I don't know how to change the eyebrows. So if you know how to do that, you can tell me, okay? So um, let's go ahead and look at another hair. Let's just kind of do a circular. That's a bun. So this is a guy hair, and I'm not sure why that's even here. So that's the hair that I had, and I guess I'm just going to stick with it because I don't know what other hair to get. So... Let's go back, and let's go to the, um, let's go to the part of the face that says, not ears, but... Mm, cheeks. Okay. I want to change 
this a little bit. I think I wanna, I'm gonna have it over here. Okay. And I think that's it. I can work on my. I can't change the neck. I can't change the body. I can't change anything. I can change the scale so I can make her shorter. Like I can make her shorter like this, right? Every time you make her shorter, every time you make her shorter or taller, it goes closer as you can see here. Okay, so let's go ahead and click this back button and save. So don't discard unless you want to. If you don't like what you did and you want to start over, then just hit discard. So I hit select and I'm in the... <laughs> With the shift button. Oh, I have a news in here. Oh, I can see now. So there are places that you can sit. You can just hit the uh, left mouse button and press it. Look at yourself, other people. You can also just hit a button and go up arrow. And you can do things like dance, like those are the three. So I'm dancing. Let's get rid of this. I need my mouth to this. You can walk around, you can sit down. You can sit down right here. Well, you're supposed to be able to, but maybe this is just for looks. And like I said, I've met some friendly people here. I'm not saying everybody here is friendly. But there, it seems like there's some friendly people here, so you should come in and check it out. I had an account a few years ago, and I don't know if it still works. So I'm going to have to check it out and see. Okay, this one is on the list, but nobody is here. You could, like I said, you can also move by uh, le uh, right mouse button and then like move your camera and you can also, you can do this on Second Life too. See how I just make her move and I can watch where she's going. I can look up, I can look up or down. You can do this on Second Life too. But everything's rest. See, that's the thing though with this place, right? Everything you go to, it's kind of like IMBU where all the places are rooms. So it's not interconnected where Second Life is a big, massive, interconnected world. So if your neighbors are 55 meters away, they see you and they walk closer and they hear you talking. Uh, you guys can hang out and stuff like that. So you have a profile here like you don't want Second Life. I just don't want to show mine because... I don't want people to know my name unless they're my friends or something. Right now, I mean, if I decide to stick with the game, then then that might be different, but, yeah. I don't know, you know how it is. Um, let's go back to the Nexus. I'll be able to check my mic there, and a lot of people will hang out. So, let's see here. Hello, how are you doing? Yeah, so see, it does move. Hello. Yeah, so so you can see it does work. And you don't have to have the yacht to use it. Because I don't know what my vision if I could even use the yacht very well. That's fine though. It doesn't matter. You can just use it with you. Have a nice night. I'm gonna go. Bye. Okay, well guys. <laughs> I don't like to leave her in as I said goodbye, because I don't want to say anything. Oh, I was going to say hi, and she just walked away. Bye, then. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. If you never tried Santa, you could try it. I don't like this much as I can like, but I do like that you can pick up a few free things and try it, and you don't have to look absolutely new. And, and like I said, even if you do look like a new person or a noob, whatever you want to call it, 
people that I have met today seem to be nice. And that's really cool. Because Second Life, there's so many people in this place like I know. There are so many people on Second Life, but a lot of them don't talk. They stand around, they go to the places where they like I said, Second Life is boring you, you don't have anything to do. Like for a while you could come here for an hour or two and like kind of rejuvenate and while you're waiting for your friends to come on Second Life. And right now I have it. You can get it on stream or you can get it, I think you can also get it from the website. So just look up Sansar. And like I said, you don't have to have VR. You don't have to. So, like, VR chat, it's like a big thing with VR there, it seems like. And I've been on VR chat on and off for the past few years. But I would just say, this place, like, just give it a try for a few days or whatever, or just an hour. If you don't like it, then don't worry about it. That's why I say, don't buy anything, especially when you go on any virtual world. For the first time you come in, or even the first five times you come in, just enjoy yourself. Don't worry what people say. Oh, look at that girl. She is so retro. We used to wear stuff like that in 2008. Okay, well, we get it. But you know what? You should. Nobody should be shaming anybody for the way they look. Number one, if they don't have the money, they're low income. Uh, we don't know what somebody's situation is. No, I agree that I don't like somebody begging and saying, Can I have 500 lindens? Can I have 200 lindens? But at the same time, I don't think we should be shaming people because they're not wearing mesh. If they don't want to wear mesh, they don't want to wear mesh. I didn't go mesh until late 2018. So, by the way, this, this is also very easy on my computer. I have not had any lag. But like I said, that's probably mainly because they're like little rooms. So outside of the club is nothing. It's just this dome area. Like Second Life, I could walk out and go for, you know, hours on the main continents. On the main continents and just walk and walk. And I could drive, ride around or ride on my bicycle or fly or whatever. And I could go for hours. So that's the difference. So you just gotta keep that in mind. So, but yeah, I like the customization of Second Life. A friend told me a few, uh, some years back, that he didn't like Mesh because it wasn't as customizable as the original Avatar. And I understand what he's saying, but at the same time, Mesh looks nice. It looks more realistic. I really like it. But it's your choice. If you don't want to wear it, don't do it. Look, I was in Second Life for how many years before I went Mesh on my adult Avatar? I, I came on Second Life in May of 2007, and I just went mesh in late 2018. I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Let's see if I can wave. Bye! <laughs>